shoot the one standing up. Right behind us, one of them smoked them. Great shot. So for Dennis's seventh birthday, he's been asking for the last couple of years to hunt with me. I've taken him deer hunting a couple of times with us and he's done good. He has a hard time sitting still and being quiet, but what kid doesn't? So for seventh birthday, I talked my wife into letting me take him ram hunting against her better judgment. And to our surprise, he was really, really good with a bow. We've been practicing in the yard for about a week now. And as long as he's got his listening ears on, he does really, really well. I talked to Cody down at Buckeye Valley in Minerva a couple months ago about maybe taking him on a ram hunt down there. What I was hoping for was something to introduce him into the outdoors, but an environment that was very controlled that we can be safe and ethical in at the same time. A little tired. Dennis, James Adams, um, seven. What did you get for your seventh birthday? I got the ton of Pokemon stuff, and I went ram hunting today. So I've always wanted kids. Uh, I always knew, I hoped for sons, and when we found out that we were having Dennis, I prayed that it was it would be a boy. So we found out that Dennis was going to be Dennis uh, in November of 2014. At that point in time, I was off for the rut and we had an ultrasound found out he was a boy and i said i can't wait just a couple more novembers and he's gonna get to hunt with me so this has been something i've been playing and i suppose you'd say longer than he's been around which is pretty cool i want the curly ones he drove us to the big um building and then my dad it is right by Pork Chop. Um, I turned on my listening ears. You hope that the things that you're passionate about, your kids will be passionate about too, but it's something too that you, you can't push them towards. For the last couple of years, he's been really excited about it. And like I said, I've taken him to West Virginia a couple times. He's hunted up here with me a couple times. He gets upset with me when I pass on deer that are way too small to shoot. <laughs> I, I promised him, I said, if we can do a ram hunt and be safe and be ethical, then I know I can trust you to come out and deer hunt with me and to have good listening ears, and that's big. If you have a young kid, you know how important listening ears are. But I know that I could trust you to come out and be ethical on a deer in the woods. It's something that we've planned for quite a long time. I'm just excited that he likes it as much as I do. I think it makes my wife panic a little bit, but I'm really excited about it to have, you know, a hunting buddy that I get to watch grow up and enjoy all the same memories that I got to make. We booked it for today, May 21st, and went down this morning. We got there at about seven o'clock in the morning. Within minutes, we were on rams. It was a great time. We saw a lot of rams. The hardest part was actually getting a ram to clear off from the group to where he could make a clean shot without the, the risk of hitting another ram behind him. Smoked him. Great shot. He's gonna go down right there. You watch him? Yeah. See him? Mm -hmm. He's getting ready to go down. He's getting ready to go down. You see him? He's the one standing in the back. Yeah. He's about to go down.
<laughs> good job. Good job, buddy. How was that? Good. What do you think? <laughs> hey, look at Luca. Tell me what you think. Hey. Good job, buddy. Good job. That was a heck of a good shot. I've been telling them all week when we're practicing on the target, the Glendale in the yard, make sure you aim right for that front shoulder, put it just behind the front shoulder. And he did the exact same thing today and made a perfect shot. I'm sure you guys saw that. He's looking forward to deer season. He's already got my money spent and the next two trips planned, but it was a lot of fun and I really look forward to this fall with him. It's gonna be a good time. Finally, I got a ram and then I shooted it super with the tracker super slow and then its friends was coming to it and then he was a little bit going down and up and then um, his friends run away because they thought they would get shoot too. We was watching the ram going down and then we called some of our family members. I will show you something. Look, I just killed a ram. Hi Cash. Do you want to see I killed the ram? All right, should we call Papa? Yeah. Okay. Say I love you. I love you, Shana and Cash. Papa, guess what? Um, I just killed a ram. I shooted it in the heart. Right there. Should we go see it? Yeah. Okay. I'm in love. I love you, Papa. Huh? We're gonna have back shops tonight, steaks? <laughs> Let's do it! <laughs> so, how did it feel when you took the shot? Um, fun. It was fun? Was your heart beating fast? Yeah. Nice. Like how fast? Fast as a, um, like Sonic. So what was your favorite part of the day? Um, going ram hunting. What was your favorite part of the ram hunt? Um, getting the ram. I was in a little um house. I was pointing at the ton of rams and then I found a ram I could shoot and then I shooted it and then it was going down and then it came over to um, the dirt and then it laid down and now it's dead. Is this your first ever animal? Yes. And then when it's deer season, I'm gonna bring my crossbow to shoot um, deer. I killed it right by the um, shoulder and um, got its um, heart. Now it's down. I think my favorite part of the day, I feel like a lot of people would say their favorite part of this whole experience would be, you know, when he took the shot. And I can see why a lot of people would say that. But I really think that my favorite part of the day is his interview, just like we're doing right now. Um, well, here, I got a question for you. <coughs> Wait a second. Um, my wife wanted to take a second take now that he knew what he wanted to say, but I told him, I said, ah, I want to leave it. I want it to be authentic. I want it to be, when we look back in 20 years, I want this to be a memory. We look back and we laugh because he stumbles through interviews just the same as I do still. And that's something I'm probably going to hold on to more just because I know what it's like for your mind to race and be excited to tell that story, but to not know the best way to tell it. So for me, I definitely think my favorite part of today, definitely the shot, but hearing him tell his version of that story, was pretty cool. If you're looking for a sign to get your kid in the woods, or be a better dad, or make memories or time with your kids, this is it, go do it. It goes fast. We appreciate you guys coming along. This was an awesome hunt that I told Dennis I've been planning since 2014 before I found out that, you know, 
he was actually even gonna be a boy. <laughs> I prayed for boys, God gave me two boys, so I'm really excited. If you have kids, you understand the excitement that comes along with getting them into the woods and getting them involved in the outdoors. If you're looking for a great place to come hunt, I highly recommend the Buckeye Valley Ranch, as you can see. It's absolutely gorgeous out here. Uh, Cody and his dad run one of the best operations you'll find in the state of Ohio. All around, I, I can't be any more pleased. Luke got great footage of it. The rams worked just like they were supposed to, and Dennis made a good shot. See you on the next one. How'd turkey season go? Turkey season was awful. I don't want to talk about turkey season. I didn't even see a turkey. I don't think Ohio's got turkeys anymore. If you shot a turkey in Ohio, you're lying, but it didn't go well for us. <laughs>